I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Thursday December the 10th brought to you in part by Norfenicol by Norbrook. It's an antibiotic that's approved for the control and treatment of bovine respiratory disease uh, very similar to New Floor, but not as thick as New Floor is. So, uh, if you guys uh, like that product, you probably like this product too, and and uh, heard some good things about it. We've got a truck shortage, and it's hurting the market. Uh, just everybody waited to sell their their springborn calves, and uh, it's it's just uh, inflated these sales so much. We've been talking kind of all fall here about how uh, the numbers have been lighter. Well, we're catching up uh, and doing a big job of it here just in the last couple of weeks you know I told you on on Monday or we saw that Oklahoma National Stockyards at 18,000 you know we've got uh, OKC West nearly 12,000 uh, Joplin had over 10,000 but a lot of sales up in the Northern Plains are having big runs right here before uh, the Christmas break because uh, a lot of your sales only have one more week uh, this year of marketing and some of your late week sales here uh, this is it they won't have a sale at all for the rest of the year and man are these receipts swelling up uh, I talked to John Campbell uh, on, uh, on Wednesday there and he said that winter livestock Lahana, Colorado, they are, they had over 9,000 there. I, it just adds up, guys. And and with these cattle going quite a long ways, especially in the southern plains, there's really nowhere for them to go there uh, unless you uh, guys lucky enough to have some wheat. But uh, they're hauling cattle all over. Uh, hauling cattle from the northern plains down the southern plains. They're hauling cattle from southern plains, not really north. That doesn't work. But uh, hauling them, you know, to the to the west. They're, they're buying a lot of cattle in the in the southeast, sending them west. Uh, some of those are going uh, even a little bit north uh, if they've got some hair uh, to get through the winter here. But I tell you what, the weather's been so nice that it's just made it real easy for guys to to get cattle into the sale barns this week. Uh, it's just been nice everywhere and uh, it, it's every, everybody you talk to just talks about how nice the weather is and uh, you know they say it's good feeding weather actually the cattle would feed a little better if it was a tick colder than what it is but there's been very very few storms around uh, not not a whole lot of uh, bad wind storms uh, not a lot of moisture which uh, guys need moisture in the southern plains because it's so dry but in the northern plains the midwest uh, they just soon as stay dry. I'll tell you what, the winter time is a great time to have a drought. But uh, we're running short of trucks. And, uh, you know, sometimes you've got some guys that, that don't appreciate their bull haulers enough. But I tell you what, you're old school guys, and, and I've witnessed a lot of them. I, I tell you what, uh, you know, my dad, he, he always uh, treated his truckers that, uh, that he uh, used uh, the very best because he knew they were going to get him out of a jam at some time. You know, this summer when I was out in the Flint Hills with uh, Jimmy Craig, uh, he's a, he's a longtime order buyer and bought cattle all over the country and sent them all over the country. He treats those truckers like gold. I tell you what, they're the most important people to him there, other than his customer, and uh, and they, and the truckers just love working for him because they know how much respect he gives them, and he knows that they're going to help him out of a jam at some point. Well, guys are in jams right now. Uh, talk to them in, in the southeast, Kentucky, places like that. Uh, the, the stockyards aren't big enough to hold all the cattle that they're wanting to bring in there. They're having to hold them in the parking lot in goosenecks and in trucks and just load out before they can unload anything else. And, and, uh, and it's hurting the market because guys might have orders, places they can send cattle, but if they can't get them sent right away, then the, the guys don't want them. Because they get stale on them, and, and you guys uh, sure understand that. You don't want to buy any cattle uh, and let them sit around a sale barn, a crowded sale barn, very long. But luckily, there's not bad storms. Uh, like sometimes we get into that up in Montana and the Northern Plains, cattle sitting in sale barns and sitting in cold, wet, muddy lots in the sale barns. But, uh, you know, so we shouldn't have too much sickness out of this problem even if they do have to leave the cattle laying around for a while. But it's better to leave them laying around an open sale barn than it is one of those with a roof on it, uh, you know, where it rains a lot because uh, it went, it's stuffy in there. And I tell you what, the cattle will get a lot sicker. Let's talk about your uh, board on Wednesday, December live cattle futures down 47 cents at 107.37. 
February up 20 cents at 110.97. Go out uh, farther out and it was up 10 cents to up 42. So some uh, positives there on your out front uh, live cattle contracts. Feeder cattle, January feeder cattle contracts down 55 cents at 137.02. March up 30 cents at 138.80. All the rest of them were up from 37 cents to up 52 cents. And that's pretty good with corn and beans being up uh, some on Wednesday too. Corn up four or five cents, beans up 11 or 12 cents a bushel. Your fat cattle market, it just didn't seem like uh, the, the sellers had a lot of fight to them this past week, but they, they knew that the Packers are gonna be hard to trade with. These uh, box beef cutout values are dropping like a rock. I tell you what, they are, I mean, it's just plummeting. And so, uh, you know, they're they're singing the blues and, uh, you know, it's hard trying to deal with somebody like that that's trying to make you think that, uh, you know, they're, they're losing their tail. You know, still working with a, a margin, although a lot slimmer than what they like, your Packers. But, you know, how would they like to lose money for a few weeks out of the year? They never do that anymore or haven't for quite a while. But, uh, you know, you talk to uh, the guys that are feeding cattle, they're losing money a lot of the time. But heaven forbid these Packers ever have to, to sell anything at a loss. But, you know, the, the cattle sellers helped them out. They, they kind of quietly just let them have uh, their lower market this week. Although losing a buck or two, uh, even $4 dressed on some of these sales, that's not as much as they're losing on this uh, wholesale box beef market. It is dropping fast. But uh, Iowa had confirmed sales 7,500 head on Wednesday from 103 to 105. Sure, uh, you know, sucking hind tit there, and that's your farmer feeders being taken advantage of. And dress sales in Iowa from 165 up to 168, mostly 167 to 168. Nebraska, about 5,700 head confirmed. Likely going to be a lot more than that by the time they get them tallied up. But uh, 105 to mostly 107. Uh, and and so your your northern plains is trading at a discount to the southern plains, but most of your sales there in Nebraska were 107 on a live basis, but 168 dress is your market. That's two to four bucks lower dress, guys. But uh, you know we've lost some ground here, and, and it's kind of just happened quietly because the guys gave up on a Tuesday morning, start selling them lower. Kansas didn't have any more uh, sales on Wednesday. Texas had just a few loads all at 108. Southern Plains Market 108, Northern Plains Market 107 and 168. Uh, box beef cutout values. Uh, now your Packers are trying to tell their customers, uh, the guys that are buying the, the wholesale buyers, that uh, not going to have a, a very big slaughter during Christmas holidays there. Uh, but those guys, you know, that they deal with them all the time and. and they, they're not too worried about it. I tell you what, they're, they're not scaring those guys. Uh, they've got, uh, they know people have, have likely bought some product and, and, and uh, have it in the freezer. Uh, they're not worried about getting short bought, uh, even going into the holidays here. And I tell you what, these, these uh, cutout values are plummeting. Choice cuts, 218.26, down 676 just on Wednesday. Tell you what, it's, it's going to be huge by the time we get to the end of the week. We've had big losses every day this week so far. Select cuts, 201.65, down 377. Slaughter, 354,000 uh, through Wednesday there. That's 7,000 less than last week. That's 15,000 less than the same week a year ago. But same week a year ago, they were really pushing hard because we had gotten a Holcomb plant back on line and they were, they were pushing and, and having a pretty good slaughter there for a while. But uh, let's talk about your feeder cattle market, your real-time index on DV auction, sitting at 135.92 there. Uh, and uh, that's pretty late on Wednesday. That's down 37 cents. We're seeing some losses there, but a lot of movement. A lot of those cattle that are in there are calves. Very few true yearling cattle there. Uh, look at your big sales for Wednesday. OKC West, El Reno, Oklahoma, 11,700 head. Feeder steers, one to two dollars lower. So we kind of expected that. To, you know, it, it's just too many of them to choke, guys. We've got to have more fall calvers. We can't choke uh, all these cattle at the same time. Uh, except your bigger yearling type feeder steers, eight to nine weights, and they were actually two to four dollars higher. 
uh, they actually had a short load, 840 pound steers in El Reno, bring 142.50. That's that's a pretty big quote there, out out of a, a market there in the Southern Plains that uh, relies heavily on corporate bidding. But uh, pretty good, pretty good deal there when you can sell cattle for you know many dollars over what your index values are when they're weighing over 800 pounds there. But if, uh, your feeder heifers were one to three dollars lower, similar to most of your feeder steers. Uh, your lighter weight stalker type steers were two to five dollars higher. Your heavier weight uh, steer calves that have to go right on to feed or or some kind of a growing lot or something they were one to three dollars lower. That's just the way it is. It's the fall of the year and uh, there again we're short of trucks but uh, Dodge City Kansas winter livestock 3500 head for them uh, their feeder steers were uh, one to three dollars lower uh, heifers were a little more lower than that your your calves steer calves one to four dollars higher heifers were a little more higher than that so they didn't have their regular market report out I, I pulled that off of their uh, automated market report because they were late getting the the sale barn report out of Dodge City out but uh, how about a, a market that we've never talked about before give you an individual quote out of there Sydney Livestock Market Center Sydney Montana 90 head 514 pound steer calves bring 177 and a quarter that's a big price there out of big sky country and uh, and you know in a market that's not all that big but seasonally getting some big runs here and getting noticed so good for them doing a good job up there in Sydney Montana Bassett Nebraska had a sale 2400 head there they they've sold a lot of those cattle out those producers didn't wait till the last minute to sell them uh, the market reporter there called them kind of unevenly steady I uh, pulled the the automated market report here and we can look at some weighted averages on some uh, popular weight groups 458 head of five weight steers average 547 at 17414 how about uh, nearly 800 head of six weight steer calves in Bassett Nebraska these would be the best in the world guys seen some pictures of some of those cattle going through Bassett and just knock your eyes out uh, those six weight steers average 642 at 16242 and then 267 head of heifers in the biggest uh, heifer weight category there uh, weighing 500 to 600 pounds with an average weight of 541 155.54 those are big weighted averages for all of those steers and heifers that are in those weight groups but your Zach Tran top quote for the day come out of Bassett 54 head 523 pound steer calves bring 185 and a quarter that's your feeder flash for Thursday